Hey guys, I'm in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Um, I apologize for my lack of videos of late. As those those of you who've known me for a while know um, that I'm working on a, a pretty pretty big project out here. So I really I don't have access to the, a computer like I would like. I don't have access to the internet as much as I would like. Um, I don't have access to uh, the solid groundy stuff below me here very often as much as I would like. Um, but anyway, all of that aside, I thought I would do just just do a video. There's a couple of things I've been thinking about lately, um, actually today, not lately, uh, that I want to get to. But I don't want to focus on me because, uh, frankly, I look like shit, first of all, which I know is nothing new. But I f especially feel like shit, so look like shit today. Um, I worked 14 hours straight. Um, I'm so exhausted I could fall asleep here. I actually fell asleep standing up and had a dream while standing up. Um, just a quick, short, like, nod off and woke myself up spontaneously, attracting a lot of attention. It was really embarrassing. But anyway, um, anyhow, so I'm going to turn the camera around to the beautiful Unalaska countryside. So um, you guys enjoy. That's the Grand Aleutian Hotel down there. I don't know what that, I think that might be Mount Ballyhoo, but I'm not positive. I don't know my terrain around here. But anyway, sorry. What I want to talk about, and I'm going to try to keep this brief, uh, is I, I've been, um, when I've had internet access, I, I've been looking at, I'll put a link down below, to a, a review of a DVD on um, Yahoo, or I'm sorry, not Yahoo, of, sorry, on Amazon, uh, reviewing a creationist DVD that apparently somehow spun into like this, 4,000 long post-reply argument, debate, discussion um, between a number of young Earth and old Earth creationists um, as well as some pretty noteworthy scientists. Uh, people, actually scientists that I've interacted, a scientist that I've interacted with before um, and who actually first connected me to the site. It, people who are actually real experts in their perspective fields, which I really, I love to read people who know what they're talking about. Um, what well, I love to read when people really know what they're talking about, especially when they're uh, um, stomping people whose knowledge of science does, hasn't progressed past uh, uh, creation, research, whatever things, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. I, I am exhausted, as I said before. But anyway, uh, one of the things on there, there's, there's one of the people who's posting on there on the creationist side. Um, if you guys go to the link, you'll... you'll pick out exactly who I'm talking about right off the bat. Um, the thread is pretty much dedicated to this one person. And um, what I found was a couple of things really interesting, just sort of that not not him in particular or her in particular, I'm assuming it's a him, but the, the fact that it's uh, sort of typical of a lot of these creationist arguments. And so I thought this, this really sort of, he's kind of has this nailed, um, they, like again, reading right from the handbook apparently. Um, because one of the things that's been going on is, you know, that whole argument where, you know, but there's no transitional fossils. And then, the, you know, one of the people on there, Christine Janis, is, an, is a, you know, one of the experts in, in, a, in a mammal, mammal evolutionary biology, evolutional horses and such. Um, and she replies with a list of, you know, intermediates, transitionals and why they're, tra whatever. And then he completely changes the topic again to, you know, well, why do you hate God or whatever? I'm, I'm, I'm not, these aren't actual specific examples what I'm giving. Um, <clears throat> and then jumps to another topic immediately when that's jumped on and then jumps to another topic. And then, of course, as you can probably imagine happens at the end, uh, goes back to, but still, there's no transitional fossils. I, you know, this complete... It's amazing, um, and we've, I, we've all seen it on YouTube, we've seen it everywhere, um, but it's, it always blows my mind. But one of the things that attracted my attention, uh, an argument that I was kind of, it kind of kept me in the back of my mind at work today while I was, while I was processing um, lots and lots and lots of dead little fishies. I was thinking uh, extensively about this, and what this is, comes down to is, the, what are the arguments that was being made is that we, as scientists, can't prove how life evolved. And even though we claim evolution's not part, I mean, abiogenesis isn't part of evolution, 
they say it must be because it's the start of it and therefore we can't explain it so our whole science has no foundation. You know, you got, it's a stupid argument, um, multiple flaws. Um, but one of the point, one of the things that, that I specifically was thinking about with this is the, um, how to put it, is this argument that there's no, you know, and it, it came with a lot of quote minds, you know, or very quotes from people talking about, you know, we, we know of no mechanism for this, or we know of no mechanism for this pathway for the origin of, of the first living cells and such. And when, when some answers were provided, you know, specifics of, you know, how, how, you know, proto RNA nucleotide, whatever it is, can be provided, as always, as we've seen again on YouTube, the argument goes back to, um, but you can't prove that's how it happened. So, you know, you're just making just so stories, whatever. That's, that's kind of the typical response. And that might actually be a valid answer, except that it's not. And here's what I was thinking about it today, why it's not a valid answer. Uh, it's not a, the reason is, is that the, the question being posed isn't, can you prove that life originated through naturalistic origins? Um, that's the question that's, that, 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 they're not posing that question, but they're meaning that question. But they're asking, um, you see this, there's no plausible, you can't think of a plausible mechanism for life to come about through naturalistic means. And then when somebody says, well, yeah, here, here's, here's a whole bunch of them, how about those? Well, you can't prove that any of those happened. It's like, well, you didn't ask me to prove that those happened. You asked me to show a, a plausible mechanism. And I was kind of thinking of it in different, different ways. Like, my, you know, my guys know my silly analogies with things, uh, trying to figure out a way to, to sort of illustrate this point. And I was thinking of a couple of different things, one being a court case, like where a man's on trial, say, burglarizing a house. And um, he, he has, you know, it, it's a known fact that, you know, his photo was taken in a coffee shop, you know, so many blocks away from the crime scene. Um, and it's also known that he was at the crime scene afterwards, after the crime was committed. And the defense is using the argument, well, there's no possible way he could have gotten from the coffee shop to the crime scene in 10 minutes. It's impossible, so therefore he's innocent. And the defense comes up with, you know, well, here's a, you know, do investigation. I mean, that's right. The prosecution comes up with, you know, well, if he took a taxi, he'd have been there in 7.2 minutes. If he took the bus, he'd have been there in nine minutes. If he took, you know, if he ran really fast, whatever it is, you know, just basically comes up with a list of, you know, here's a bunch of ways he could have gotten there. And then the defense counters with, but you can't prove which of those methods he took. So therefore he's not guilty. When the defense, all the defense really has to, or the, God, why do I keep saying that? Um, because I'm exhausted. Uh, what the prosecution only has to say is, no, you asked for, there's no, you said there was no way for him to get there. We showed four ways he could get there, um, if that makes sense. And so it's the same thing. It's what the, what, what the when, the, you know, people like Bo Behe has done it a few times with a few, with a couple of his irreducible complex things where he's talked about, you know, there's no plaus there's no mechanism for stepwise evolution of this structure. Um, and people have come up with, well, actually, here's, here's, there are stepwise mechanisms for it. And not be himself, but others have sort of answered in his place saying, well, there, you know, you, that, you don't know that's how it happened. You're just guessing that that's how it happened or whatever. Which, again, for the same reasons is, uh, it, I hope this, God, I'm just, ran I should, I don't think I'm going to upload this video because I'm just talking out of my ass. And I just wanted to put something up for you guys because I feel really, really, bad. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I'm going to end this with a completely unrelated event. Uh, by the way, I'll focus on these guys because they're much more interesting than me. Um, anyway, yesterday, the hill I'm on, the reason I found this hill is that yesterday uh, I went to a, a, there was a talk being given in town on genetics uh, by somebody I've known for years. And so I went to see her talk and during the talk there was a, the tsunami warnings all went off because there was an earthquake off, I think it was off of Atu. I'm not, it may, may not have been that far. People, some people said they felt the earthquake here, so it couldn't have been that far out. But anyway, uh, so we had a tsunami warning and we had to evacuate and we had to all go up. Let's see if I can get this in the picture. Uh, focus, you bastard. We had to go up to the top of that ridge there, um, which is not a, not a small 
climb up. It's not huge, but it's not, um, anyway, sorry. Anyway, so I, I did, I'll, I'm probably going to chop up, some, I have a couple videos of just the evacuation. Um, I was hoping to, I had the camera ready, hoping to, you know, actually get a, you know, tsunami, you know, I don't know why, oh, I zoomed in there, that's why. A tsunami's, you know, whooshing over Dutch Harbor. Not that I want to see Dutch Harbor gone, but I thought if it's going to happen, I should at least get my 15 minutes of fame for it. So I know that's kind of douchey. Anyway, all right, I'm, I'm going to go away before I fall asleep on this hill and get picked apart by the eagles. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I got two bars up here. Oh, oh. oh. oh he bought his food. If I see water coming down, my Bring the food over this way. No. Yeah, bring the food this way. Oh, bring the food this way. Oh, Where are you going? <laughs>